Did you know that with the Bloxy 2 version, the Bloxy Post shortcodes and third-party legacy widgets have been converted into powerful Gutenberg blocks? One of these new blocks is the Advanced Post block. It allows you to create your own query loop from scratch or by using the customizer or patterns. And with these, you can design a unique layout for the grid of posts to suit any of your specific needs. In addition, this powerful block also works with your custom post types and this means you can completely customize the feel and look of your posts grid without having to embed shortcodes and this easy to follow video is for everyone who uses the new Bloxy theme version onwards let's go how are you doing welcome back to my youtube channel my name is natalie Although I'm using the Pro version of Bloxy Companion plugin, this is available in the free and Pro version. These new blocks, except for the content block, the shop filters, and dynamic data custom fields support. Up to this moment, there are available nine Bloxy theme blocks, and all of them replace blocks of shortcodes and legacy widgets and they are all dynamic blocks the advanced posts block for instance replaces bloxy post shortcodes and post widget as well as it allows you to create your own query loop from scratch or with patterns more in a second this dynamic data block is a new block that supports wordpress content data woocommerce content data custom fields from the from advanced custom fields plugin or others such as metabox toolset jet engine pods or custom wordpress fields with a filter in this video i will focus on the advanced post block and dynamic data block features in future the new version of this advanced post block will allow you to query who commerce products and to build your own card and that opens up a tons of options you will use the advanced post blocks to display blog posts or other content you may have such as pages testimonials or portfolios anywhere on your site. This block has great flexibility to display your content using many different parameters and visual layouts. Let's begin. To start using, just launch the Bloxy Page Builder in the page where you want to display your new blog posts template. Then click twice to publish the page. You click on the plus icon to insert a new block or open the list view. Scroll down and locate the block C blocks. Here they are. Insert the advanced post block. There are available three different options. Linear read from customizer to choose pattern or create the custom layout to create from scratch. If you choose to enter it from customizer, you are applying the settings from the, cust from the customizer. The pattern option will display your existing blog posts in various different ways. So this is the layout coming from the customizer settings. It's in a list view. If you need to reset your layouts, you can click on this icon and now you choose a pattern from which are different design layouts. There are available four card posts designed with different layouts. You click to insert, but I want to reset the layout to create the custom layout. So I click on the plus icon to insert a new block, advanced posts, and I choose the last option to create from scratch. By default, it showing me the customizer settings. To change the layout, you simply click on this grid view to immediately change to the grid layout. So nested inside, inside the advanced post, there is the post template. It consists of three dynamic post data blocks, dynamic title to dynamic post date, and the dynamic excerpt. However, we are allowed to insert a new element. Let's say I want to add the future image. How do you do this? Super easy. Let me show you. Just select the dynamic excerpt block and choose add after option and then you add dynamic data. And this is from Bloxy theme from the right 
Sidebar, you select the content source from this drop down list, and this lists all the fields available to you, ready to be inserted into your post layout. And if I had the advanced custom fields metadata plugin, it, it will have a, a new section called ACF or whatever other metadata plugin you are using. So I select the feature image and OK. There you go. And once you've done with the future image, you can now drag and drop to the exact spot you desire. I place, in my example, the future image below the post title. You can also insert terms to display your existing categories or tags. You select now the what type of taxonomy do you want? You link to the term page if you want, if you need to. And here it is, my category. It's nature. You can stylize the title by clicking on the heading level and then you define it here. And as you can see, everything has changed immediately. I'm sure you get the idea. In the right sidebar, we have settings to define the post type. You can bring up from posts or page, for example, your testimonial page. And here, the limit is the number of posts. Let's say I want to display nine posts with a pagination. You can also define and determine the dynamic title. For example, I want to change this to an to a H5. And voila, all of a sudden everything has changed. If you want to change the dynamic title below the feature image, you can do this as well. The visibility tab, these are controls to determine the block visibility conditionally. You can use any of these controls to restrict or expand the block content visibility. For example, you can set to only display the advanced posts block based on the browser and device to show the block if and then I select the browser, then the condition would be if any of the selected conditions and then I set the browser. Alternatively, you can use the same rule set to hide when the rules are matched. So, as you can see, there are a lot of great flexibility going on here. In the advanced tab, you can use this block ID, for instance, to add the CSS attributes such as the ID or a class or whatever you define it here by adding CSS rules. And if you select the post template, the nested post template, you have additional options. For instance, you can control the number of columns. At the moment, I have three columns, but you can define it to be four or two. To stylize it further, you select the advanced posts and then you click on the styles options and let's define a color background. So you select the background. You can go with a solid color or a gradient. Let's go with a gradient. This one with the angle of this angle. You can also set the dimensions. And what I mean by that, you can also define here the padding and the margin. As to the padding, Let's say you can use these controls where you define top and bottom or left or right or a custom one. Let's define it 20, 20, all sides, much better now. And you can also determine here the border width and the border radius. It's beautiful. Let's preview now for mobiles. So opening my tutorial post page, and this is the desktop version. It looks promising. And then switch to the mobile view. It looks promising. 
one column layout and with the release of the Bloxy version 2 we are living in the advent of the upcoming Bloxy, Bloxy Blocks plugin. Ultimately the Bloxy theme will be releasing a block plugin for Gutenberg Page Builder and this will surely have a huge impact to Bloxy users. Thank you for watching, my name is Natalie, see you the next time.